Let us now take a look at the floating point data type or in maths what you would call as real numbers. So floating point, there are different types of floating point numbers in C programming. The first type is known as float or single precision. The second type is double or double precision. Now if I have to declare variables like say float and double, all that I would need to do is I will come up with something like this. I will say float x and I will say double y. So this will declare two variables of the type float and double respectively. Now there are a number of differences between single and double precision but the one fundamental difference which stands out is assume float and double are being represented by a standard called as IEEE floating point standard for representation of float and double. In the IEEE standard float will be represented by 32 bits and double will be represented by 64 bit and hence the name single and double precision. C also has a long double which is of the type extended precision. We won't be discussing much about this as and when we come across problems involving long double we will take a look at it. Now the size of float double is not clearly or not at all mentioned in this PC specification or the C manual. It is left to the designers of the compilers on which hardware it is operating to decide the size of float and double. So the specification of the C language does not make any mention as to what will be the number of precision or number of bits used to represent float or double. But the popular format which is generally form followed to represent float and double is the IEEE floating point standard. In that the single precision that is the float is represented using 32 bits and the double precision which is the double type of a real number is represented using 64 bits. There are three parts to a real number. One is the sign which tells whether the number is positive or negative. The next is the exponent and then this is the mantissa. So these part, three parts are represented using 32 and 64 bits. Now let's take a look at a few floating point constants so as to get an idea of how to use them and how to declare them. These are all examples of floating point constants. The first two have only 25.0 and 25 point. So if you have to declare a constant of the type real or single float, you will have to use either a decimal point or a exponent. That is why if you see in this last three, I have also given the exponent. So either the decimal point is compulsory or the exponent is compulsory or you can have both as in these particular cases. So this represents 2.5 exponent raised to 1, 0.25 exponent raised to 2, 250 exponent raised to minus 1. Now this e or e here, it actually refers to the power of 10. So this you can think as 2.5, 10 raised to the power of 1. Now suppose I declare a floating point constant. Okay, suppose I do something like this. If I say x is assigned the value 2.32 like this. This constant by default the C will treat it as a double type of variable. If you want to give this as a normal float rather than a double then you will initialize this to something like this 2.32 f. The f indicates that this is a single precision or a normal floating point number. So by default if you declare a floating point constant that is stored as double precision. So if you say something like this pi is assigned the value 3.142 this is going to be of the variable type double. So you need to exercise caution when you are using floating point constants especially when you are trying to compare floats with double because real numbers are not exactly represented by their exact value. Suppose it is 1.93 it may be represented internally as 1.9 2999901 something like that. So this should give you a fair idea about floating point numbers and double type of variables in C programming language.